Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today we're going to do a review. We're going to take a look at the Faber-Castell gel sticks and these water soluble color crayons are great for kids, but I like them for adults too and I'm going to show you why. Let's take a look. So we're gonna start off by taking a look at the box that the gel crayons come in because it's kinda of great. It's a nice, sturdy box. You can see all of your colors easily and they're these little thumb lashes so that you can keep your product stored nicely and I think this is great for adults and for kids. There's also a little um, pamphlet that comes on the inside that talks to you about different ways that you can use them. Um, but mostly I just love the fact that it comes with this plastic box. So now let's take a look at the individual gel crayons. Now this set of 12 gel crayons comes with neons, a black, and a silver metallic, which is kind of a fun addition. The only thing that makes me a little bit sad is that there's no purple in any of the configurations. You get a pink and you know two different colors of green and two different colors of blue, but there's no purple, so I guess that just means we're going to have to make our own. Each gel crayon is about five inches long with a cap on, and you can see that the cap just pops on and off. As you can see, they actually even stack on the end, they call that posting, so that you don't lose the cap, so you can train yourself and your kids to make sure that you post the cap so that you know where it is. Um, now these are crayons, so if the cap gets lost, that's okay. They're not gonna dry out or anything. Um, I like this barrel a lot. It's a nice size, it's easy to grasp for big hands, little hands, hands with fibromyalgia or arthritis, and most importantly, there's this nice little grippy section. So it, it really is comfortable to hold on to. Um, now I grabbed this neon one just because I love this tip. Can you see that it's actually kind of translucent? You can almost see through it. But these crayons are so soft and creamy that I can actually just write on my own hand and you know the color just glides right on and blends. Um, interestingly, these are water-based and so actually this will just wash right off with soap and water. So I wanted to see exactly how much product was in the container and you can see that I've uh, screwed it all the way to the end and you do get a nice bit of product here. Um, what's fun is that you can kind of just use the screw tip so that you get just as much as you want out and that way it kind of stays sharp and tidy as you go. So um, I just, I like that action. It's really easy to use and like I said, you can kind of just screw it up a little bit as a time, just exactly what you need. Now, I know you like to see the product in action, so here we go. Uh, by the way, this is the neon yellow, and then this is the regular yellow. And what I have found is that the neon colors are translucent. So look at how bright yellow, I mean, it doesn't look like much in the stick, but it turns out this bright neon green. And if you take the regular yellow, you'll see that it is more opaque. And, um, but they're just really, I mean, super smooth and creamy. They lay down a lot of color. And of course, all the colors are blendable with each other. So you can blend the neons with the opaques um, and back and forth, and you can get some really beautiful bright colors. Now, where this is important is when you're working on different colors of paper. So for example, I have used the exact same colors of paper, or colors of the crayons on white, black and craft. Now, here you can see uh, the difference between the yellow and the neon, but on the black it almost looks like a green, and over here it ends up being really washed out. So the neon colors are best on bright whites, but the opaques, the regular gel crayons, look beautiful on craft cardstock. And as a matter of fact, I mean, it's just you know beautiful and bright and shiny and still very blendable. So let's talk about that blendability. Here I just did a little range of colors and I kind of blended them with my finger. I did this swatch a few days ago and it's still you know, pretty creamy to the touch. I can still blend it around. They're also very smudgeable. I just made a little bit of color and smudge it with my finger. But of course, you can also blend it with water. So let's just take another quick look at that blendability factor. Let me use this piece right here. And of course you just saw me put this down. So I'm using a little water brush. I have a great post on the water brushes and, and the comparison. 
But look, this just turns into an opaque-ish watercolor paint right away. I mean, it's just super creamy and super thick. So while this is considered a kids crafting product, I would not hesitate to use it in a heartbeat because it's just so much fun and gives you such um, creamy color. Okay, one last thing before we go. I just wanted to point out that you can actually just scrumble a little bit of the crayon into a palette and you can use any plastic surface and then add a little bit of water and you get watercolor paint basically. So, um, I might even want a little more water than that. This one's pretty good though. And um, you can just mix it up like this. And here I've done just a little bit of a crayon rubbing and you get some really fun textures. But you can see that you can use these either as a stick form or go ahead and mix them up into a water color that you can use. And on that topic, uh, here I made a couple, I just stamped a couple of images. These are from Stampin' Up! and used a little bit of that paint to watercolor these images. And this one, you can see I actually put it right here on the paper. So this would be a fun little thing to do, is to stamp a blank image, put a little bit of the crayon at the bottom of the card, and let the recipient color it in themselves. So there you go. Faber-Castell gel crayons. Super cool and fun for the whole family. I hope you found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. It really does help the channel out. If you're gonna leave a thumbs down, just let me know why so I can continually improve my videos for you. As always, it would be awesome if you would like and or subscribe and um, that way the newest videos will come right to your email before they you know, show up even anywhere else. So thank you so much for watching. Check out some of the cards, some related videos that you might find that you like. And as always, have a crafty day.